Hi, Phoenix Song here, and we're building on the groundwork of some of the other videos I've done to explore sound design on the MC707 by Roland. Since recently I've been delving into how to get drum sounds on various devices, we're going to be continuing that first because that's going to be a great way to build up your sound design skills and also have a nice resource right on the MC707 for real drum synthesis drum tones. So here's what we'll be working towards today. So what we're going to do first to start that from scratch is we're going to go into project and we're going to go to new and hit enter. And so what you get when you start off with a new project is a drum kit here. And we don't want that right now. If you hit up on this keypad here, you'll get into the whole um, column view and then scroll down with this knob to delete and say delete that. And then you'll have an empty track which won't have anything on there. So we're going to go ahead and use tone and we have another track like this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit sound and we're going to go down to random. We have 12 different options here for random sounds. And so what I'm going to start with is the kick because while we could set this up from scratch, I don't actually like many of the synth ones, but the drums ones are money. Okay, so that would be a good one. I've heard a lot of sounds like that when you use the FM engine on the TR6S or TR8S, probably. Like that too. That would be a good one. Uh, that's kind of a 909. And now we're getting close to an 808 kick. A little bit too much noise. Let's keep trying. There we go. I think that's a good starting point. So we're going to use that. We're going to exit out of this and we're going to go hit shift sound to go into the sound editor. So what we have here, yep, sine wave based oscillator here and then noise. This is almost always when you get the random, this is the formula that you get unless you have those uh, kick drums that sound more like an FM one and then you might see something else here. So let's go and look at this. Okay, what we want to do is that noise is a little too long. So luckily, we're already in the partial edit mode, which is what we want. If it was uh, sometimes when they're randomly generated, you'll see easy on the edit mode there. And partial will give us more control because what we want to do is have different volume envelopes or amplitude envelopes so that we can sculpt each of these separately. So let's see here. So if you hit these buttons, you go to each of the different partials. So these encoders have buttons. So we're on partial one, and now we're on partial two. Yep, and we see we've got uh, decay like this. And I wanna just turn that, the noise decay down a little bit. See that? Turn it up, have more of a noise, kind of like a snare, but we're gonna still want that transient, but just really quick. And that's all you have to do to... This is great. And that's all you have to do to get your kick drum tone. Let's work backwards a little bit so you can see what what's going on here. So on the um, oscillator one, that's a uh, sine wave, and that will be our kick drum tone. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to the second uh, track here. And that is just horrible. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna hit uh, random again, just because there's a lot of work that has gone into setup. And I find this is a nice, quicker way to get uh, results from sound design on the MC707. So let's go into random. We're gonna go to snare, hit enter. Like that one. Pretty snappy. Let's just go with that for now, and we'll, we'll sculpt that a little bit because um, we could spend a lot of time going through all the different randoms. Why I like this one is the um, the tone isn't too loud. It's more about the noise on this one. It's got a nice thing, but I want to maybe do a little design on that, um, the tone to kind of bring it down a little bit. So let's see what we got here. We've got a triangle wave. We have noise. And so the noise, volume. 
do is, now if you hold down one of these encoders and turn it, you get changes by 100 at a time. So that's a good way to work faster than just going like this. And look, there's some resonance there, that's good. Perfect, I like that. And then what I'm gonna do also is use the EQ a little bit to give it a little bit more uh, high end. Oh, we gotta turn the EQ on. So rolling off the low end, give it a little mid range boost and high end. Boost. And then we can change those frequencies a little bit. Not all synthesizers have an EQ section, so this is really nice that you get that because um, just working from a filter to sculpt everything is time consuming and you only get one usually or a state variable filter. So this is great. So I'd say that's all we need to do in this session. I wanna keep this quick because uh, long videos uh, get hard to watch and we will jump right into another video soon to get into more other details. Thanks. This is Phoenix Song. Please subscribe to this channel so I can keep in touch and get you some more good tutorials and some cool jams, maybe some songs. Have a good one.